Hey guys, Canadian Zangief back again, and this time around I'm doing a review for the next best thing for the Retron 5, and that's the 8 BitDo Nest 30 controller. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the Nest 30 um, retro game controller. Um, works for uh, the Retron 5, iOS, Android, uh, Mac, uh, Windows. Um, very versatile, very high grade. Very nice box, I, I like boxes. So included in it, you got the uh, connector cable to sync it to your computer. Um, this is for uploading with firmware for the controller as well. Um, originally when this came out, it wasn't for the Retron 5, but they released a, uh, a patch for it that uh, allows it to sync up. Um, this fits on the back if you want it and also backs up as like a stand. I just don't use it. I just like having the regular thing. So let's talk about build quality. Um, when you put it in your hand, it's got about the same weight, maybe a little bit heavier than an original NES controller. Um, the feeling on it is very good. The buttons feel the same as a NES controller. Um, it also has L and R on the top. So it can be used for Super Nintendo games and everything else as well. Um, super happy, works Bluetooth and uh, at the very least works uh, and is just as responsive as the pack-in Hyperkin uh, Retron 5 controller but with you know better feel for the d-pad and the buttons feel a lot bit a lot better um, so here's the the pack-in Hyperkin if you've never seen it before um, a lot of problems that uh, a lot of people yeah it's still got power a lot of people have is the uh, this the analog here um, this is for a lot of uh, NES and SNES era games where you really want a D-pad for those precise, precise movements. And this doesn't really have that. It's probably good for fighters and stuff. Maybe for uh, uh, RPGs where you don't have to worry too much. But this is so much closer to home for me. It's so, so comfortable in your hands. Um, and the buttons feel a lot better too. Like these are kind of... I don't know, the best thing I could say to them is they're kind of like pressing Smarties. <laughs> and these feel like regular um, nest buttons. Um, this have it side by side with an original. You know, it's pretty close, except with the adding on with the extra, you know, Y and X buttons, of course. Um, D pad feels pretty much the same. Um, well worth the investment. Um, I'll leave links below with uh, where you go to find the uh, um, the update to be able to use this on your Retron 5 and uh, basic controls for it and everything. It's uh, it's definitely awesome. So, in conclusion, um, I absolutely love this controller um, and I don't think I could live without this anymore. You know the it's such a massive upgrade from the uh, the Hyperkin box-in Bluetooth controller, and uh, I haven't touched it since then. So, uh, if you have love your Retron 5 and you totally want to replace your uh, box-in one, this is an excellent option, and I highly recommend it, especially at such an excellent price. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.